Manifestation family, and welcome on to our manifestation series, helping you manifest what you desire quicker, easier, and bigger than ever before. I'm Scott Haug, of course, and hope you all are doing very well today uh, during this live. Definitely go ahead and throw in the comment box where you are from if you are here live. If you're watching the replay, maybe do hashtag replay. And uh, some of you are watching this on YouTube. Go ahead and throw a like and subscribe to the channel for more updated content on manifesting techniques, tips, tricks, and ideas. So if you are here live uh, while we're recording this in our Facebook group, let me know by throwing a little uh, comment into the chat box there. Hope you're all having a line day, having fun, doing the great work that you're doing, whether you're in business or personal life or whatever is going on for you today. Hope all is well. All right, if you've been following along this manifestation series, today's day number seven of the actual series itself, uh, definitely check that out on my website if you wanna go through the other seven videos or also click the Facebook Lives uh, tag. So there's like topics in the Facebook group. You just have to click Facebook Lives and that will give you a treasure chest full of valuable items all around the topic of manifesting. All right, a lot of you are doing great work, and I saw a lot of the great posts recently. Some of you manifesting $9,997, others manifesting $15,000, another manifesting two, three, four thousand. dollars $4,000. It's pretty much endless. And the amounts that everyone's been manifesting, if you add it all together just from our members alone, it's in the 20 to 30 million, basically over if you combined everything that everyone's been doing in their businesses, now that we have 6,000 members in our Facebook group. So keep it up, keep working at it. And if you have yet to manifest what you want, keep it going, it's okay, it's going to come. Keep working at it, okay? Keep doing your best. And as you remain in faith, as you remain aligned, things will start to move in that right direction. All right, for day number seven here, we're gonna go through a quick tip on letting and allowing. So if you find this video helpful, just give it a quick like on the video if this technique or this topic as well is helpful to you. Now, letting and allowing is part of the manifestation process. So if you're a very beginner of the manifestation process or you're getting to be more advanced, you've been studying for a long time, you're starting to get steady results moving in and you can actually send out what you want and at most times, at least comes back to you, you're starting to become a master manifester as I would call it, okay? One idea with this that can be a challenge, whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced manifester, if you will, is how do you let and allow the good things into your life? Now, if you've been studying personal development for any time at all, we all have come to an awareness that sometimes I'm blocking my own results. Self-sabotage, uh, an invisible wall that you're running into, limiting belief patterns, right? Things that are actually keeping me blocked are my own actual things I'm putting out there. So how do you let and allow and what does that look like? Well, I remember a time, it was a couple of years ago, that I felt a little stuck myself for some reason. I felt like I was in a stuck energy. And I'm sure any of us that have been stuck before, it doesn't feel that good. You get a little frustrated, a little agitated with knowing that you could be doing way better than you're doing, but you're just not there all the way yet. Your potential is there, but you're not fulfilling that potential, right? So I remember I was gaining sales every single week. I was already earning over 10 grand a month but I felt like there was some stagnant energy somewhere. I didn't really understand where that stagnant kind of slow energy was coming from, okay? I also had missed payments going on. For some reason, there was some things going on uh, where I also on automatic billing, for some reason, my card wasn't going through. I had tons of funds in the account there, but like I was, sometimes I was getting emails that for some reason my card wasn't working well, as well as customers, some of them were, were missing payments and it started to add up. It started to say like, what's going on here? There must be something that's causing some of this weird money thing to kind of happen. And maybe you've been in similar shoes where you really want a lot of money to manifest, but sometimes there's like little things that are coming up. Uh, it could be new bills that you didn't even know about. It could be something that just happens out of the blue. And you're like, dang, where, where's this money challenge coming from? Or this money obstacle? It could be for a couple of days, could be for many years. In this case for me, it started to accumulate after a couple of weeks and it started to make me a little frustrated because I was reacting rather than responding to the scenario, where right? I was letting the scenario control the way I was feeling at the time, right? So basically I had a brainstorm day. I sat down and I said, 
There's got to be something within me that's causing all this on the without. Now, almost everybody in this world will always look for the without. They'll blame everything else, circumstance-wise, that's allowing them to live that type of life, right? I could have blamed it on the bank. I could have blamed it on the card. You know, all those various things, right? But I realize there's something that's going on within me. It must be that's not allowing me to actually receive everything that I've put out there, all the good that I've put out. I am not letting and allowing, if you will. I'm disallowing. I'm resisting. Now, if you're an Abraham Hicks fan, you've listened to the teachings, I'm sure, many times where letting and allowing is a major part of the process. Letting your desires come through rather than putting up like a resistant shield. So I realized I was doing this and I started to do two things. And these two things will certainly help you if you go ahead and put those, put these two things into action right away. The first thing was I looked around me in my environment, the external environment, and I realized it was a mess. Now, I'm not a very messy person. The people that know me, I'm, I'm very situated. I'm very organized. I'm very clean. I have my stuff really kind of buckled in and really, really great. But for whatever reason, I was allowing my space to get very crazy. Things were all over the place. There's papers everywhere uh, on my desk, like different sheets of paper for notes and sales calls and, and this and that and strategies and, and all these things are just all over the place on my desk. Also, just the entire place, the house overall, just wasn't as clean as I usually have it. There's things left out and it was all over the place. So instead of doing tons of sales calls that day, instead of going out there and doing something that I would normally do in my personal life or business, I decided to take two hours and clean everything up. I donated things I had stacked up in my closet for like six or seven months. I finally, right, we all kind of have that thing where you just, oh, we'll stack it there and then maybe in you know a year you'll, you'll get around to it, right? But I started to take all that stuff and put it into a donation pile. I started to take all those papers. I threw them out or organized them into binders and folders. I went through and cleaned the entire place. I took all those donations to the nearest donation center. Uh, I pretty much did everything to clean my external environment. And something very critical happened. I started to feel released. I started to feel free of all that external chaos and things. That's going to play into the result, as I'm about to tell you about in just a moment here. But that was a big thing. I felt uh, free of everything around me. The second thing that I realized was I wasn't letting and allowing by my thought. That was the internal environment. I kept thinking to myself, when's my manifestation going to come? Where's the results? Why is this happening to me? That person knows they should have made their payment on time or whatever it is, right? These thoughts that were going in my mind were all about the things I didn't want, right? So what I started to realize is I have to change my thought. I have to replace my thought. I'm resistant thoughts. I need to be in letting and allowing thoughts. And let me know by throwing a comment. You just put a number one into the comment box if you've been there before. Asking these questions within like, where's my result? Why isn't it here? Why is it not coming fast enough? Those kinds of ideas. Why did that person do that? Right, those ideas. Definitely throw if number one in the comment box if you resonate with those thoughts, if you've ever had those like I have. So I had those thoughts and I changed them. I replaced them. Basically, what I started to do is go into gratitude. I started to say thank you for everything around me. I said thank you for this. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Thank you for my past manifestations. Thank you for my current ones. And thank you for everything coming into my life from here on out. So I just started to be on like this gratitude uh, momentum, this gratitude rhythm. I started to constantly be in thanks. I started to really be looking for the things that are working. Thank you for this. I love this. This is working well for me. I want more of this. So basically, I started to get on the frequency of good, finding positive, finding what is working, and being grateful for the past, the present, and the future that's about to come. That right there also added to my freedom feeling. It felt like I was like so aligned. It felt good. It felt like um, I felt at ease is a great way. It felt relieving. Within 24 hours, so that was basically a day. I went to the gym. I did everything else, you know, um, nighttime routine, and, and then got up in the morning. The next day, 
I had two people that owed me money pay in full ahead of time. And I had two kind of coincidence type things happen in that same day, all in a matter of four hours during that morning. It was just after morning. It was probably around 9 a.m., 10 a.m., just after waking up. I had those four hours of good happen. Now, to the common person, they would say that's coincidence. That just randomly happened. Uh, uh, you know, there's no way that could really be connected with you getting the payments in. If you didn't clean your place, if you didn't change your thoughts, you probably would have had those payments come in and they could be very right. And that could be very truthful. But when you've seen so many of those coincidences happen after actually renewing your internal environment and your external environment, you're not convinced anymore that it's coincidence. And you're not convinced anymore that these things happen by random, but in fact happen by a science, happen by an exact process and uh, something that you can repeat over and over and over that's replicatable, it's duplicatable, and you'll get great results. Okay, So that's the way the outlook is now for me is none of these things are coincidence. Every single time you put out good, you refresh in the energy within and the without, you start to let and allow your desires in bigger and better. So for you, if you want to let and allow your desires in bigger than ever, try to change up your external environment. You might want to renew your entire place. You change everything around. You you put the couch a different way. You, you uh, put the table in a different area. You change your office around if you have a home-based business or whatever that is, or external, you know, if you have an office outside in a, in a building or, or something like that, right? Same thing goes at the internal. Try to refresh in your thoughts. Try to refresh in uh, what you're thinking about on a daily basis and what you're feeling about on a daily basis. Try it out. The worst that's going to happen is you're going to feel better, okay? Because you're going to feel better no matter what. So the worst that's going to happen is you're going to feel better. The best that's going to happen is you're going to have your results speed in in a very unexpected way in very unexpected hours, just constantly coming to you like a magnet for good. And the only way you really know if this stuff works is by actually trying it. A lot of people tend to, if they don't understand the process, they, can, they tend to ridicule it. They'll say, oh, that's a load of BS. You know, they'll, they'll condone it. But really, I always take the approach of try it out, experiment, see if it works for you. And if it works, then it must mean something. It must be actually a feasible technique to go through. So those are my two quick tips for you today. It will make all the difference in your desires coming through here in July August and the rest of 2020 for you. I hope you take away these tips and try them right away. And if you're going to try them, keep yourself accountable and say, I'm, I'm doing this. Uh, you can put it right in quotes or whatever it is. Just say, done deal. I'm doing these two tips, these two techniques. Throw it right there in the comment box. Make yourself accountable saying, I'm going to try this out right away. If you're in our Manifestation Accelerator program, I cover these different techniques throughout the entire program. So you're going to get a lot more, about 10 times the amount of knowledge on letting, allowing, and really bringing in those desires and sending out the right energy for those desires. And if you have not enrolled yet into our Accelerator program, I do so right away. It's giving you a systematic way to look at manifestation. Try it out. Try the process. You know, everybody posting our wins is about 10, 12, 15 wins some days. Posting every day, it's not coincidence that all these people are winning. They're using the system. They're putting out the good, and they shall return that back. So try out our Manifestation Accelerator if you haven't already. You know, if you try something new, you have a brand new result that can enter your life. If you don't try anything new, you can't really guess that other results are going to come in. You know, the same results are going to always be there. So try something new, go for it, use the system, and allow yourself to explore and experiment with the system and see if it works for you. All right, Scott Hauck here signing off. Again, I hope these video series is helpful to you. And if it is, or you want a certain topic for me to cover on following videos in this series, go ahead and throw your topic right there in the comment box below, and I'll be sure to cover one of those topics that you have a challenge with or you want to know more information about to help your manifestation journey along. I'll be sure to cover those in next videos. All right, sending light and blessings to you here and now. I hope you're doing really well and continue to do even better every day, every moment from here on out. Scott Hauck signing off here, and I'll see you real shortly on the next video series in this series. Take care and see you later.